Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to this week's reading vlog. Uh, I'm currently reading The Secret People by John Bainan. Uh, it's actually John Wyndham. It's an early pseudonym he used. I think this was written in like the 1930s or so. It's basically, they kind of irrigate the Sahara Desert you know, like by like terraforming it and adding loads of water there. And then they discover this weird race of like albino pygmies living in the darkness beneath the desert. Kind of, it's not racist actually, but it, well it sort of borderline is at times. But actually considering the subject matter, and, and I mean the time it was written as well, you know, you know how it is. I'll read you the blurb anyway. The planners of the world's greatest engineering feat, the flooding of part of the Sahara Desert, knew nothing of the life which teemed below their new sea. But for the accident which plunged Mark Sunnett and his girlfriend into a cavernous world, nothing would have been known of the catastrophe which now threatened the survivors of an ancient race. Their struggle against doom and Mark's fight for survival is the theme of this fascinating story. So yeah. Alright, hello everybody. It is 9pm on Monday the 8th of February 2021. Uh, I finished off reading uh, The Secret People by John Wyndham. So I finished reading this and I'm now reading White Mule by William Carlos Williams. So The Secret People I'd give like a 3 out of 5 to. Um, the problem with this was that it had a really cool concept but the execution wasn't great. Uh, it wasn't particularly gripping if you know what I mean. So there was a good idea behind it. It's just, eh, it was hard to care too much. Uh, and now White Mule. This is uh, trigger warnings galore for anybody who has like any problems with sort of child neglect I guess. It's not quite abuse but basically this couple has this baby and they just hate the baby. So they just ignore it and stuff. So it's kind of rough reading to be honest and not really what I was expecting from William Carlos Williams but uh, interesting so far nevertheless. For copyright reasons this edition is not for sale in the USA or Canada. Huh. Uh, yeah, going to keep on reading that. It is, uh, as I say, it's Monday. I'm just finishing off some edits to my radio show because uh, that airs tomorrow. I uh, don't know when I'm seeing Susie next at some point. I might make uh, banana bread later and I've currently got some pizza and chips in the oven. And I'm still doing all the um, sorting and houseworky stuff. I've done most of it now actually. So um, I've just got in the bedroom, I've got a few more vinyl singles to sort through. But I'm like 80% done on that. And maybe about 60% done sorting through all my books. But um, basically just re, re alphabetizing them all so it's easier to find them but also it does mean I'll be able to do a stock take if I want to as well uh, yeah oh my cryptocurrency is doing well I'm making a lot of money on cryptocurrency Cur well in the last week I've earned more from crypto than I did from doing my job so that's nice hopefully it keeps going up and uh, Tesla have just bought 1.5 billion in, in Bitcoin so that's helped <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me. It's currently 10.24pm on the 10th of February. That is Wednesday. My sense of time is a bit off. Uh, the last couple of days, yesterday and today, I, I slept an average of like 15 hours on both two days because mental health's been a bit mad really, so I've just been sleeping because that seems like the best thing to do. When I haven't been sleeping, I've been reading The Stars in Their Courses by Isaac Asimov. This is non-fiction, it's a bunch of different essays about science basically. Uh, it gets its title from, and like the concept of the first essay are all about him ripping into astrology basically. So I enjoyed that. Um, his personality type, his MBTI type is uh, INTJ, if you know what that means. And it very much comes across in this, which I enjoy because I have the same type as him. Overall probably gave this a pretty solid 4.5 out of 5. Uh, I've also just finished reading uh, the audiobook of Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins for a video that Susan and I are going to be doing about the Hunger Games and Battle Royale. That was like a 4 out of 5. I don't think it's as strong as the first one and actually the third is my least favourite so I'm not really looking forward to getting to that. But I am excited about watching the movies so I'm going to do that soon. Um, just catching up with my YouTube subscriptions at the moment, doing a bit of filming and stuff. Still very slowly but surely sorting through all of the books that I have for sale. It's ridiculous. Um, I can't, I actually can't figure out a way to not have piles of books that are like overflow piles from the bookshelves. So I'm going to try and at least like I can make sure the piles are like all of the books by me and all of the books by Agatha Christie and all of the books by uh, I think Stephen King is another candidate. Um, and Jean Plady, I have loads of Jean Plady books even though I don't read her. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan with that. I've just made some cinnamon swirls, which are very nice. I need to make some proper dinner in a minute. I might do some pizza because I have some like pizza dough. Uh, yeah, and then I'm probably going to stay up all night working. 
even though I feel tired and I, my eyes are weird as well. Like I'm trying to look at things and everything's a bit blurry and stuff. And I'm like, do I need to go and get my eyes tested? But I don't think so, because last time I got them tested, I had better than average vision. So I think I'm just tired. Hello everybody, it is 12.55am uh, on the 11th of February, Thursday the 11th of Fe uh, February. I haven't slept yet, I had a, a website design call with the Art Centre a lot earlier, so we got through that. <laughs> I've now finished sorting through all of my eBay books, kind of. There are a few piles left that are like in rough alphabetical order, they're like grouped, you know, A to E by author surname or whatever, but there's just no room left on my shelves to put them up, so... It is what it is, uh, hopefully I'll sell some more books and then I will unlo unlock some more space, you know? Uh, but that's all good, and so because of that I've been prepping some eBay parcels that have got to go out. Uh, I've been reading Playing the Moldovans at Tennis by Tony Hawks. I have about 100 pages of that to go. Um, Susie might come over this evening, although, I don't know, I'm going to message her in a second because I am very tired and I'll be grumpy. So my current goal is kind of to make it till about 7pm. If I can make it till about 7pm and then go to sleep, uh, I should be alright for Friday, I think. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, reading this and then next up I have uh, an Asimov I think I'm going to read. Hello everybody, it is the 12th of February, Friday the 12th of February, it's currently 9.45 in the morning. I did sleep last night, I slept from like 5pm till 5am or something, I've been super exhausted recently, I don't really know why. Uh, but when I have been awake, I've been being fairly productive, I finished alphabetising all of those books I was on about, which is all very good, I made some bread earlier today, which was nice, uh, I'm currently, well I've just pretty much finished reading Playing the Moldovans at Tennis by Tony Hawks. I have like 10 pages left to go. Um, I did think I'd picked out a book to follow this one, but if I did, I have no idea where I put it. So um, I might read Giant's Bread by Agatha Christie. Uh, it's her actually under her uh, pen name of M uh, Mary Westmacott. So I might read that. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Biggie's over there in the window. I think he might be coming over. Biggie, are you going to come over and say hello? You gonna come over and say hello? You're stuck behind the curtain. I kind of wish you could see what I can see right now, but are you coming? You coming to say hello? Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, people of the internet. My name is Biggie and I'm a cat. I do not appreciate this very much. No. What are you up to at the moment, Biggie? What have you been reading? Come on then, down on the floor, there you go. That'll give you a little stroke. Oh yes, oh yes, and behind the ears as well. Oh yes, oh yes, good boy. He's very staticky at the moment. Why are you so staticky, Biggie? I don't know. All right, it is Sunday, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, 10.30 p.m. Susie stayed over over this weekend, so we listened to some vinyls, uh, did a little bit of filming here and there. She did some editing today. Biggie's being a little pain over there as usual. I finished reading Round Island with a fridge uh, and I've pretty much finished reading Giant's Bread by Agatha Christie which is one of her Mary Westmacott novels. A full review of this will be coming soon. Uh, I slept lots today. I've been over like the last week or 10 days or so I've been just so tired constantly. So uh, today I don't know how many hours of sleep I got but it was a lot too many and I'm still tired now. I think that's about it for this week. I don't know if I've got anything else really to update you on. It's just not really much happening because the world's still gone to shit, isn't it? So, yeah. Uh, thanks as always for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.